101 ESPN. Welcome to 101ESPN.com. I'm Brian Feldman. The Cardinals come out on top today at Roger Dean Stadium 5-3. to And the Cardinals have been blank the entire game, starting at the very beginning by Marlins starter Josh Johnson. The Cardinals get all five runs in the very last inning for them in the top of the ninth inning. It started with a John Jay hit, followed by consecutive back-to-back-to-back hits from Tyler Green, David Fries, and Joe Mather. And then a few batters later, it was an RBI single and advancing to second from Shane Robinson to complete a five-run on top of the ninth, Pete Paris comes on to get the save for the Cardinals. Tony LaRusa said he was very surprised it was such a low scoring game because as you can see here, very windy, really overcast. And because of this wind and this weather, Tony said he told Freddie Gonzalez, the manager of the Marlins before the game, he thought it was going to be a 10-9 game, very high scoring. So he was pretty surprised to see it be such a low scoring game considering that all the pitchers were so sharp. And that's the only reason it was held to such a low scoring game. As far as performances, Kyle Loesch, very good for the Cardinals. He was up towards 48 pitches or so. He was spotting pretty much all of his stuff, and he was very happy with the way that he threw. One other note from today, Tony La Russa not really able to talk much after the game to the media because he has to get to a meeting with not only the Players Association but also members of the commissioner's office. He is on a committee led by essentially Commissioner Bud Selig in improving the game. And they are talking about many different things as far as getting the game of baseball better, coming up with many ideas as far as things that they can do to change around some things. Tony would not get specific because he says anything public has to come from the commissioner's office itself. But he did say there are some issues that they are discussing that could be put in play for this upcoming 2010 season. More on that, of course, as we continue here in Roger Dean Stadium for spring training 2010. Report here from Roger Dean Stadium. I'm Brian Feldman for 101 ESPN and 101ESPN.com.